So yesterday I shared a video talking about the advice that saved my life, the advice that when I listened to it, stopped me from committing suicide. And that advice was basically, try everything first. As in, before you kill yourself, do everything possible. Try every option, right? Now, that has generated a bunch of feedback, a bunch of comments across all the platforms I post to. More than a lot of the videos. And this suggests something to me. It suggests that talking about suicide and you know mental illness in general is not done enough. It suggests that people need to be a bit more open. It suggests that discussing what and why and all of that sort of stuff actually matters and will actually make a difference. There's so much there's, there's, there's so much stuff going on in this world that it's hard to quite place where you want to sort of draw the line, where you want to sort of help people out or help the world out. For whatever reason, I'm good at and enjoy and can physically and mentally talk about mental health and mental illness and suicide and all that sort of stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. So obviously that's what I talk about with my books and my podcasts and all that sort of stuff. But let's talk specifically about suicide. It is, in Western countries, the leading cause of death for people aged 15 to 45. Now, there's some variations, but basically, if you think about what that means, if you take the 15 to 45-year-old people, the main, the number one reason they die is through suicide. What the fuck, right? Like, that just blows my mind. More than car crashes, more than cardiac arrests, more than police violence, more than fucking anything, it's people taking their own life this, something's wrong, right? Like, I mean, what the fuck's happening that the number one cause of death is people taking their own life because they don't want to be here anymore. That suggests there's a crisis in the mental health community as a whole. It suggests that we're not talking about it. It suggests so many different things. So I, for one, am going to push hard down this path. Now, I'm hyper aware that I'm just one person talking to a camera and I've got a small but committed and growing audience, but it's a drop in the hat. So what I want is you to do something. I want you to share things like this video, okay? It doesn't have to be my stuff, but share stuff that talks about mental health and talks about suicide. When things pop up in your social feeds, share it. Just, just click that share button. You don't have to make a comment. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, DM it to someone who you think would need it. If you don't feel comfortable doing to doing something like that, talk to people in person. Share how you feel, right? The reason being is, is multiple reasons. Number one, the more people talk about it, the less stigma there is. The less stigma there is, the, the more we feel comfortable. Because, you know, wouldn't it be terrible if someone you knew was struggling and they didn't feel like there was anyone that would listen, right? I'm... I can't help but relate it to the, the, the gender and the sexuality revolutions that have gone on and are going on. The more people talk and are open about being okay with people of different genders and different sexualities and all that sort of stuff, the more people that are struggling internally with any of that sort of stuff can come out and share their story because it's safe to do so. I think we need to have that for suicide and mental health far more than what we've got considering what's happening, right? So if you just talk and say, hey, I'm cool with this, talk to me, or at least you know, I'm going through this myself, then people know that they're not suffering alone. People know that they're going through. People know that there are things and resources available. Now, in my everyday life, in my day-to-day -day life, I'm not always available mentally to be able to talk about this sort of stuff. Some days I'm having a shit day, right? But people will start talking to me and I'll be like, hey, I appreciate you coming to me. Check this out. I hear you. I feel you, right? And when I am having a good day, when I do have the mental space, I'll follow up with them. Hey, you know, I was having a bad day today. I am here with you. I am feeling you, right? So I'm not saying you need to put yourself out. I'm not saying that you need to be, you know, putting yourself down or in any capacity like that to help other people. But what I am saying is, is that if you can, if you have the mental space, if you have the capacity start doing something. It can be as little as just sharing a meme, sharing a video, DMing something, someone, having that conversation, or even just not jumping on the teasing people or teasing mental illness or telling people to harden up bandwagon, right? At least stop contributing to the negative, yeah? So like I said, if you can share this video, please like, share, and subscribe if you want more and comment below with anything that you are doing or that you think would help to reduce the stigma of suicide and mental illness in general. Catch up.